Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm a group exercise instructor and physical therapist. Today's Pilates class is going to be a glider class. So I love gliders. I think you can do so many things with them. They're really fun to play with for core and upper body, and they just kind of give you a little something else to do, and it's super tiny piece of equipment to have around your house. So easy storage. It's not like a big old treadmill or anything like that. So if you do not have gliders, easy to find on Amazon or anywhere else, but for right now at home, <laughs> if you don't have one, you can use anything kind of plasticky that will slide on your carpet, uh, frisbee, plastic plate, or take yourself over to some floor that's already slidey, like linoleum or your hardwood floor, something that you can slide on and you can just use your sock. Um, you can use some washcloths underneath your feet um, that's kind of helpful too. So anything that you can kind of glide and slide. And if you really don't have anything that kind of matches that description, that's totally fine. Most of the exercises are modifiable. So I will already show multiple levels um, so that all levels can do class. So I will show some modifications as well so that if you don't want to use the gliders, totally fine. Okay, you can do it uh, without as well. Okay, so grab a mat, grab anything that slides if you have it, and let's get started. All right, now shoes are always optional as well. So you do not need to wear shoes. I just have mine on because I just hate kickboxing class. So I'm just kind of sweaty and I'm getting kind of cold in my basement. So I'm gonna leave them on just because it's warmer for my feet. So feel free to take them off. I'm also not gonna play any music today so that you can put whatever music you want on in the background or none at all, totally fine, okay? So whether you want rainforest sounds or you wanna like rock it out, just use your own music. Okay, all right, we're gonna get warmed up in standing then. So go ahead and take yourself out into a plie position, toes turned out, get that length going into that spine. So separate each vertebrae from each other. Think about top of the head, tailbone, kind of lengthening apart from each other, shoulders down and back, pelvic floor, close and lift. If you don't know what your pelvic floor is, it's a group of muscles that hangs down in your pelvis like a little trampoline system. That helps control bowel bladder, part of your core system. So think about not peeing your pants or holding in gas. That's your pelvic floor. So close and lift. That will help pull in that transverse abdominal muscle. Deep belly muscle that compresses your abdominal wall, stabilizes you. All right, so think about that compression with anything you're doing with your core. No belly bulging, poofing out, doming. All of that is the opposite direction of where your abs should go, okay? So you're in your perfect little posture here in your plie. Start moving, dropping it down and up. The first series that we have in standing is gonna be for stabilization of the pelvis and hip. You're gonna feel a butt burn, some leg muscles kicking in. So we're just gonna get those leg muscles warmed up. Just two more. And hold it down a little bit. Arms out to the side. And I want you to side bend and reach to the other side. Now, as you do that, contract through the side of your body as the other side lengthens. So I don't want you to just rely on gravity to help pull yourself down. Squeeze and contract, squeeze and contract. Getting the side of that trunk engaged, keeping the low belly back, pelvic floor lifted. Breathe, all these things to remember. One more time to each side and hold it center. Hands behind the head, twist and rotate. Your pelvis should stay forward. I am not moving my legs and my pelvis with this. Isolate through those obliques, keeping that core set. One more to each side and release. Turn your toes to the front, hands slide down the left thighs, above the knees. I want you to flex through the spine, tuck that tailbone under, round through the back, tuck the chin, and reverse it. Tailbone back, heart out, exhale, flex. Inhale, extend, exhale, flex. Pull that belly nice and tight. Inhale, extend, exhale, flex. One more time. Exhale, roll it all the way up. And let's get started. Grab a disc, 
or something slidey. Okay, or again, if you're on your hardwood floor, this is gonna be such light movement, okay, or light pressure on this. So that's why you can just use like a fuzzy sock or a washcloth should be just fine, okay? Now, pour your weight into, I feel like I'm a little close, so I'm gonna kind of back it up a little bit here. Let me back that up. Okay, so pour your weight onto that right leg, okay? And I want you down in a mini squat hold, okay? So get your butt back, weight is through your heels, your body is forward a little bit on a diagonal, so those glutes kick in. You do not want to be up here and squatting down and having your knee shove forward over those toes, okay? Now, 80% of your weight, I want on the right leg, base leg. The left leg has like 20% of your weight, and that is just gonna gently glide in all different directions. So, get your core set, pelvic floor lifted, belly back, get in your mini squat. We're gonna start with just sliding it front and in. Okay, that's it. So kick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're gonna to go to the side. Press out and in, out and in. Three, nothing else in my body is moving. Six, seven, eight, nine, stay down low. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 to the back, slide back and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. You're almost there. Stay down low. We're gonna circle. You're gonna press front, scoop around, and bring it in one. Two, watch your right knee. It should not go with your circle. It's not like blah, 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 blah. Okay? So really keep that kneecap forward. Four, five, six, stay down low. Seven, eight, nine. Switch directions. You only have to do 10 of those. Pull it around. Two, three, four. Woo, feeling that glute. Six seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it up. <sighs> you should feel that right butt cheek for sure. Okay, so other leg, pour your weight over. Get that core set, belly back tight, lift that pelvic floor, create space in that vertebrae, between each vertebrae, <laughs> like we have one, and then get down in that mini squat. You ready? Okay, here we go, pressing one. Two, most of your weight on this leg. Three, four, stay down low. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Side out. Two, three, knee stable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're gonna go to the back. Press one, I'm a little close to my mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna circle, pressing one. Do not let your knee go with it, fight it, two, three, four, stay down low, five, get that glute to kick in, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse your direction, back one, two, side's getting tired, I'm getting a little tracking inward, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Woo! 
Again, you should feel your cheeks. Oh, okay, now we're going to Okay, so now I want you to go ahead and stay standing. We're gonna do a forward fold, and then we're gonna be pressing our legs back, sliding them back in, okay? But we're gonna do um, like a, a dolphin or a pike up um, position to slide them back in. So belly back, pelvic floor lifted. Take a deep breath in. Now fold in half, but roll it down segmentally. You're gonna roll, 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 roll. My abs are tight. Once you get to the floor, and if you can't, bend your knees to get there, okay? Once you're on the floor, the balls of your feet stay on your glider. You're gonna press back into your plank, pull your hips up, and roll all the way up. So actually, I'm gonna slide forward so you can see my legs. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Rolling it down, abs tight, core, 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 core. Press back, pike up, and roll it up. Modifications. I can roll down. I can slide, slide, step, step, and up. Okay, so maybe you can't do a double leg dragon. That's okay. Roll it on down. Going at your own pace, hit this tight. Then pull it back in. Don't use momentum. I don't want you to like pop, pop. Okay, roll down, press back, drag, roll. Keep going. My hair has a mind of its own today. like a squirrel tail on my head right now. How about two more? Tight core, hit it, don't let your butt sag. Drag it in. One more, engage, roll, push back, pike up, and roll. All right, nicely done. Now we get to be in a push-up position and you just kind of need one glider. We're going to be doing um, some leg slides to the side. We're going to be bringing our hip in and we're going to be circling. So kind of like we did in standing, except now we're going to be in a push-up position. So I'm going to kind of angle it a little bit so that you can see. I'm gonna put the glider underneath my left foot. All right, and then you're gonna really engage through that core, and you're gonna kick up into a full push-up position. Okay, push the floor away, get your core engaged. That left leg will be sliding in and back, we'll go out and in, and we'll do some circles. Modifications. I can come from a tabletop position. Okay, pull the belly up nice and tight and do the same thing, except I don't have as much clearance forward. I'm gonna do more of a kick back and in, and then I can go side, and again, I can do hip circles. So that would be your modification um, for this one, okay? All right, here we go, core set. Press yourself up, and pull it in one, two, three, four, five, six, button is in alignment with your back, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Slide it side. One. I'm going to make mine big. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Circles. Bring it in, kick out, and around. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch your directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get off your wrist 
and take a break. And now you have the whole other side to do. <laughs> that's the only problem about us doing single sides, right? I don't know if that's a good or bad thing that you know what's coming, but you know what's coming now. Okay, so other leg, get water if you need it. Being in our push-up position, optional push-up or quadruped hands and knees, yeah? Right leg, foot on your glider, okay? Get that core nice and tight, and my shirt's like really blousey today, but really I keep pushing it up because I really want you to think about that compression upward. It's not this, I'm not rounded. I'm in my neutral, and you're pulling from here, pulling in through the pelvic floor. So get in your push-up position, foot on your glider, core set tight, pull it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slide side again. I'm going to make mine really big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, long neck, seven, eight, nine. Keep your butt in line with your back. Switch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Bonus arm work on that one. Okay, we're gonna sit. So, I'm gonna move this down a little bit because you're gonna be sitting on the end of your mat, okay? Because you got your little glider disc underneath your heel this time, okay? Now, we're gonna be in a half rollback and then the other leg that, or the leg that's on the glider, same similar pattern. We're gonna be sliding in and out. Okay, this is all gonna look familiar. We're gonna stay out. We're gonna go out and in. We're gonna do some circles. But we're in a completely different um, angle, right? And our core is working differently than it has standing versus push-ups versus half roll back. So, similar legs, but all different core directions. Here we go. You're going to start with one foot flat. Get the belly back nice and tight, pelvic floor lifted. You can reach forward with those arms and now you're going to tuck your tailbone and now you get to round, hollow that belly into your spine. Okay, nice and tight. Now take that leg that's on the glider and you're going to press it out. Fire your quad. Pull it in. Press out two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it out. Slide side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circles in around one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other direction. And out and in one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. Now, I feel like I kind of lied. I didn't really show a lot of modifications so far um, for not using the glider, and I apologize for that. Pretty much anything we're doing, you could just do without a glider and you would just move your leg, right? So even in like a push-up that we were doing, you would just bring your leg in and back and you could still do all of the same motions. So I do apologize for that. I will try to be um, more cognizant of that going forward in class, okay? Sorry, I just realized that all of a sudden. 
Okay, we're gonna be switching legs. So I think I'm just gonna flip to face you so that I don't end up hitting my wall. You're gonna have foot down, other one on the floor then, on the glider. Now, get that tailbone whoop, tucked right underneath you. Pelvic floor in, belly back. Here we go, you're gonna press. Out, fire your quad. Dig with your heel two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it out, slide side. One, two, knee is stable with your hip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and we're gonna circle, pull in. One, two, three, four, five, six, stay back, seven, eight, nine, and 10, reverse direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten nice job pull yourself up nice and tall give that back a little bit of a break and just pull it on up all right now i'm going to move my mat back i think a little bit more um we're going to be on our backs but we're still going to be sliding so i think i'm going to be kind of half off the screen here so grab one of those glider discs and you're going to come on down onto your back. Okay. We finally arrived on the mat. <laughs> so if you kind of noticed, there was a method to my madness. So we started standing, kind of progressed to push up, progressed to sitting, and now we're all the way down. So hands are behind your head. And then from here, you're gonna pull one knee up. So if you've got your left foot on your glider, if you're mirroring me, and my right leg is gonna pull in, I'm gonna do two crunch pulses, kind of pulling my knee in, in. So you're gonna be in your curl, belly down nice and compressed, pelvic floor in. I'm gonna pull in, two, and then I'm gonna slide out and in. I'm gonna pulse, two, slide, slide. Now, if I don't have my slider, okay, I can do pulse, pulse, kick in, okay, or just pulse, pulse, hold. That's fine too. All right, here we go. Pulse, pulse, press. Two, three. You can point or flex your feet, I don't care. Four, doesn't matter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and switch. Now again, if you notice, crunches and, and stuff in Pilates are different. It's not about height, okay? So it doesn't matter how high you're going, just going to that place that you can control. If you go beyond that and your belly starts going up, you went beyond what you could control. So what's the point at that point? You're either gonna hurt yourself or you're not going to get out of it what you think you are, okay? So it's not about the height on your crunch. Be mindful of that. Here we go. Other side in, and chorus set. We've got pulse, pulse, press in. Pulse, pulse. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. And release. Not too bad on that one, right? Okay, so the next one, you actually don't need any gliders, okay? We're gonna go from a half, um, we're gonna do rolling like a ball into a pistol squat, okay? So you're gonna start in sitting, and you do get to use some arms, and I'll show modifications on this one. So rolling like a ball is always an option too. So if you know rolling like a ball, tailbone tucked underneath you, get back on your sacrum, balance it out, 
you would roll back and then up and balance. Now, if you're gonna add the pistol squat with me, I'm still gonna start here like rolling like a ball. I'm gonna roll back, inhale, exhale. I'm gonna push up off the floor into a pistol squat. I am using the same side arm as my leg to help boost. I feel like that's where kind of we had some people go wrong, or not wrong, but have difficulty in class until we figured out what they were doing. So same side arm, kicking it out, push. Now, if you can do a pistol squat and let go, go for it. I cannot. I just, I don't, I don't have it in me yet. <laughs> so after you come out of that pistol squat, you roll back and you switch. Other leg goes out and reaches. Fire your quad. Okay. And again, I can do rolling like a ball. I don't have to do pistol squat. So pick your, pick your, pick your option. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure that's a pause, pause, pause. Try to really push through that bottom leg, clear your butt, push with your leg and your arm. One more on each leg. I'm only rolling back to the top of my shoulders, not my neck. And release. All right, very nice. We're gonna go hands and knees. So you're gonna flip it around. And this time, similar to the push-up position, we were in, however, we're gonna be in a knee hover. So you're gonna need one glider. And then, so again, I'm gonna kinda of do the first leg towards you to mirror, mirror you guys. You're gonna tuck the other toe under. So if you don't have a glider, you could do a leg pull front prep. Essentially, that's what we're getting into, where you tuck your toes and you hover in your in your quadruped tabletop position here, okay? The only difference is we're gonna be moving <laughs> one of the legs. So if you wanna push up and hold and you don't have a glider disc, okay, you could move that other leg if you wanted to. Um, otherwise, you can just work on some holds, okay? If you don't wanna lift at all, totally fine. You're gonna stay on your hands and knees and do another set of this. Or if you'd rather go back to the push-up position, that's fine too if this bothers your kneecap at all. So belly up nice and tight, pelvic floor in, hover, and then slide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Now we're not doing all of the ones that we did in this position. Switch feet out, tuck your toe, core set, hover, Press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. We're gonna do two sets of that. Kick it over, other foot. And compress, lengthen your spine, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Pelvic floor in and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One more time. Core set. Press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Awesome. We're going to do upper body. I'm going to pull my mat back over. And we're gonna get some lat work. Now, this one can be kind of harsh on your shoulder. So, if this hurts, do push ups. Um, if you have bands around the house, you can do something with your bands, or you can just skip this section. Totally fine. This also gets some side bending, okay? So, you're gonna be down on your side, 
and one hand is going to slide out on a diagonal. All right, so make sure you're not totally 90 degrees, um, or not 90 degrees, like 180, okay, in alignment with your body. You want it forward a little bit to help not have that shoulder be so compromised. Now, I'm going to just kind of have my legs out a little bit. They, they can be totally straight. You can bend them a little bit. I just kind of end up staggering my feet a little bit on this one to kind of ground me down. Now, belly back, pelvic floor in. You can help with fingertips or full hand into the floor to get up. What I want you to work is eccentric lowering. So here's what we're gonna do. Get your core set. I'm gonna give myself a little help to come up. I'm gonna let go of the ground and I'm gonna try to eccentrically lower, control that on the way down. Now you can use your hand to help control on the way down too. You don't have to let go of the floor. Yeah, but this is again, kind of harsh on the, on the shoulder. So use those abs too. Use these core muscles, press to kind of help lower you down. So keep it pulled in nice and tight here. Press up, we're not doing many of these. These are kind of hard. Three, press, four, five, six, squeeze tight, seven. One more time. Eight, control, 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 and then switch around. This is kind of one of those sneaky ones where you wake up the next day and you're like, Ooh, why am I so sore? At least for me it is. I feel like my legs are a little stronger than my arms. So again, out forward a little bit with that shoulder just to kind of unlock it. Legs where you're comfortable, fingertips or palm into the floor and use those core muscles. Stabilize your trunk. Pull and control the lowering. Pull two. Three, four, five, six, seven, I'm feeling it, eight, and release. Whew. Okay, nicely done. Now, you're gonna come around onto your stomach and I want your arms off one edge of your mat, okay? Now, both hands on the gliders now. Legs are out about hip distance apart. Extend them long and squeeze your glutes, your quads, everything in your legs. Even though they're not moving, um, they should be very engaged. Pressing into the floor, we're gonna finish these lats off. You're gonna drag back and press. Drive back and press. Pull and push. Pull and push. And again, if you don't have glider discs, it's kind of impossible to modify this, so do maybe another round of push-ups. Couple more. Really pull back through those shoulder blades. Plant them in your back pockets. One more. Good. Now hold it up and see if you can slide out in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release and let go. All right. You guys made it. So you're gonna press back into a child's pose. Tuck your feet towards each other, knees to the side of the mat, drop your butt, drop the chest. Let's lengthen those lats that you just worked. Drop your chest. Walk your hands over to one side, really open up to the side of that trunk. Think about separating those ribs, creating space. Other side, walk it over. Good. 
bring it in center. I want you to bring it up to hands and knees. Put one foot farther forward than your knee and drop those hips into that hip flexor stretch. You can come up on to that front leg if you would prefer. And I'm sorry, I should have pinned my hair up. It's like, booyah. Hands on the mat, pull those hips back, lift up on that front toe, stretch out that hamstring, keep the back really straight. And again, if you're looking for more flexibility, check out my stretch um, class where we hold stretches a whole lot longer than this. And we're gonna switch. Go ahead and bring it into that hip flexor stretch, dropping it forward if that's comfortable. Bring it up and really press those hips forward. Front knee should not be crossed over those toes. Breathe. And pull the hips back. Pull up on that front toe. Nice long spine. And release out of that. Let's go ahead and flip it around onto your back. Let's get that hip and butt that we did very first thing in standing. Cross it over, pull that in toward your chest, getting a good stretch through that hip and butt. I'm gonna cradle my leg and just pull it in a little deeper into that stretch if that's available to you. Switch it, other leg, pull that in. And release, drop the knees to the side, keep those shoulders back, allow that twist. And again, kind of open up through that rib cage, breathe. Switch. Bring it center, reach through the arms and legs, kind of realign that spine and pelvis. Give it a good long stretch, reach, deep breath. Exhale out, and you guys are done. So, again, glider does super fun. You can do a ton with them. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.